What's up guys? This episode, we're gonna go over removing the tank on this Indian Scout bobber. Reason why I'm removing the tank is because I'm gonna match it with the rest of the bike. I repainted the fenders, the fairing. I did this one already, just basic. I'm gonna redo it. We're gonna do some cool graphics on the side. But pretty much this video is just gonna be about removing the tank and how to do it. So stay tuned. All right, first step we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the seat because there's four bolts underneath the seat you need to get to to get the tank to lift up. So very simple, pop, pull it off, and then four bolts here, two, you lift this, flip this little tab, and they are a half inch. If you don't have half inch, you can also use 13 millimeter, almost the same size. Guys that worked in import shops probably have a lot of metric, it's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna move the camera closer so you can see these bolts, kinda understand what I'm talking about, and then get to the fun part. All right, stay tuned. So I'm gonna take a ratchet with an extension, just cause I don't wanna get any of my paint messed up. Half inch, loosen it. And if you have power tools, battery, impacts, go ahead and use them. Saves a lot of time. So under here, there's two, there's two vents. So we got vent hoses. So what we're gonna wanna do is, you can lift, kinda lift this up a little bit, and notice a little tension. So what I'm gonna do is take some pliers. That one has a little clamp on it. This should kinda pop off a little bit, what you wanna do. Popped off. All right, so we're good there. Should give me enough room to go ahead and pop the tank up. Now what you're gonna wanna do is pop this up, because you got a couple of plugs down here that you've gotta unplug. I will do that and see if we can get you a better close up or a better view as I really wanted to say. Up under here to see the connector. Stay tuned. All right, now I've got Two pieces of two by four here. Got the tank lifted up a little bit and you can see there's a connector right there and then your fuel hose. Not worried about the fuel hose right there because we're gonna come down and disconnect it from here. But that connector I have to get out, so let's do that real quick. Really just need to get in there. Push that tab in. Connector is disconnected. Then I'll come in here, this fuel line. Basically, you're just going to two fingers and push down on it like a pinch clamp. Pull it out. You're gonna lose a little bit of fuel because there's probably still some fuel in that line. Now, if you're if you're doing this tank, make sure your tank's fairly close to empty. Alright, so now I'm gonna reposition the camera, show you pulling off the tank, stand by. All right, so, kinda can take this out of the way just so we don't scratch anything up. Should be pretty much disconnected on everything. Make a little bit of room over here. There's basically two grommets on the frame where this tank will slide in, two little ears on the inside of the tank. Boom, this slides in, so you just kind of want to lift and finagle it. It's 
It's just a little bit. Clear the box, the air box. And then you just wanna make sure on this line, I'm just gonna feed it through. really not that difficult it looks more difficult right now only because I'm doing it on camera okay that's off tank is off so you can see the little ears underneath there tanks off okay so pretty much that's it taking it off so if you're trying to change out your air box, check your air filter, do your maintenance on here, it's that simple. I mean, I didn't cut anything out. Four bolts, lift, disconnect, disconnect, pull. So if you want, as I'm prepping, I'm gonna, I'll show you the tear down on the tank because the backside, that's where your pump is and everything. And I will do that. That's going to be on the video where I prep this, paint this, and then we're going to do the airbrush art on. All right, so on the next video, I will show you all that. And we're going to do the prep work. I'll paint it. I'm not going to show you really the paint process because I showed you on the fenders. We'll get to that process, but what I will show you is the airbrushing on here. So if you haven't already, guys, please go ahead and like this video. Subscribe, help me grow this community, and rock on.